all right guys we're out here doing the uh saturday test that i told you guys i was gonna do just to check where my note is uh i fired three of them and i was still in that same accuracy window started on a lower charge and found a uh, a lower node i don't know if i'm gonna be able to use that i mean that's going kind of slow but um you know got an es of seven over a spread of 0.6 grains so we're going to continue on and see what happens next okay a little bit more data this time so we've got 26 18 16 and 21 the middle of that the six shot 26 16 that is a, my original actually node 45 grains of h4831 shortcut so good to know that it's still staying true my barrel has not sped up um it's just me it's just me so i'm the dumbass that's uh fucking up these shots here so um uh, more practice behind the trigger i guess but we're going to continue with this uh saturday test and see if we see anything interesting okay guys so this is the third saturday test that i've done with this gun okay and my results have been consistent across all three tests um something that is kind of interesting is the second time that i did this i got a lot higher velocity on the top end um so we're talking like 26 75 26 87 or something like that um the velocity is a lot slower which is interesting but this right here is a wide little node 36 to 45 43 i mean i know what some of you guys are thinking i mean that's that's too big of a spread i mean it's nine feet per second you know and it grouped pretty well down there now i've noticed that with this bayonet on um if you find a node either it groups really well or it doesn't group very well at all um with the bayonet on it tends to group well and when you take it off i mean your, your shots kind of spread out so i mean i think seating depth has a lot to do with that that might be an interesting node to explore so what i've done is i've taken this brass right here and i am going to see if these primer pockets are loose if they're loose like i mean the last time i didn't use that node because the primer pockets were loose if they are loose we're just going to ditch that one we're still good with our 45 grains uh and we even got 45.4 to be in that same velocity spread so i mean realistically we could go 45.1 um I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to stick with 45 and work on my shooting. Uh, so we're going to we're going to take the chronograph off. We're going to shoot three of the loads that I already have in here, uh, and we're going to see how they do. So interesting results, but um, expected. So that's nice. There's our there's our accuracy node right there. I mean, you got an ES. A four right there over two four six eight point eight grains of powder that's not bad now if we can just get this some bitch to group and me to pull the trigger effectively um we're gonna be good to go and we're gonna recheck our zero right now make sure nothing's jacked up usually that bayonet tosses the shots up well let's go down here and look at the target i'll show you guys what i'm talking about just check my zero and Dude, we're spot on. I mean, usually I operate with a um, uh, a one inch. Uh, the bullets are hitting up one inch higher than where I aim. Um, I do that so I can be dead on at 200. But it was kind of messing me up whenever I was hunting. And I think we're dead on down here. So let's look at the target from the Saturday test. And then let's look at the three rounds that I just shot, you know, willy nilly down here. So I think everything is all good. Okay, so that's our Saturday test. And I can, and as you can tell, I was aiming at this corner right here. Um, the higher charge weights blew that ragged hole out. That may be worth exploring. I'm going to go back uh, and see if these primer pockets are loose. If they are, like they were in the previous test, I'm not even going to mess with that higher node. Uh, but if they're not, I may explore that. Now, these higher horizontal stringing up here 
that's from the uh, the 45 grains the original node um, you know that I used so it's still good those three shots right there are what I shot um, with the chronograph off uh, with the 45 grains so dude we are we're golden we are good to go I mean I imagine our point of impact can come over a little bit more but I'm not too terribly worried about that for hunting um, I'm good I'm good I'm satisfied with uh, the results we got right here so time to just load up some more I wasted a lot of damn brass um, and a lot of bullets trying to get to verify this well, I say that I think I wasted about 25 Ah, uh, maybe 40. The other day when me and dad were shooting, um, I didn't have a stable platform. And I've seen a lot of you guys talking about that on the forums, you know. If you get in a hunting position, things are a little bit different. But if you're on the bench, I mean, as long as your technique is good. I was kind of worried about my technique, but I mean, shooting pretty damn good. That's not bad. So I'm happy with that. Um, you know, when you get in a hunting scenario, different positions. I mean, even for PRS matches and all that shit. I guess you just you just got to make sure you know you check the fundamentals off I mean that's that's a given um, I do have a theory though let's go back to the gun I'll show you my theory all right so the theory is I had the the UBR um, whatever the hell that shit is it goes down here it's got the rigid uh, lines on it or whatever I don't know what the hell it's called right off the top of my head anyway I had that in there um and it you know when when you slide you're supposed to let this bag the stock slide in the bag that way it can recoil you know correctly um when you don't have that when you have something caught up in here you know from what i've read it makes the gun do some vertical stringing i bailed right through that explanation you guys know what i'm talking about if it can't free recoil uh in the bag you know the gun needs to go backwards when it recoils if it gets caught up on this bag or whatever it's going to cause vertical stringing downrange um that's my theory and i'm sticking to it so man you guys stay tuned uh the saturday test was you know putting my mind at ease uh my accuracy note is still good no my barrel did not speed up if anything it slowed down on the uh, higher charges so that's interesting you know for old time's sake what do you guys think? Should we go out there at around 680 yards, see if we can bang it? Hmm. We may try it, I don't know. Alright, here we go. Bear with me. I think we're only going to send maybe one or two shots. I'm going to reload these anyway. nailed it right dead center too all right man these loads are good that was my first shot at that we're good to go